Rosie, to make a cake, you need to break some eggs. And I've got some lovely free-range eggs here. We're going to do a Swiss roll, which has got jam on the centre of it, lots of cream and berries. It is delicious. But we need to separate the yolks from the whites. Yeah. So I just crack it on the side there. I've got two bowls. We'll make this at the same time. So I'll get this yolk, separate it like that. Some people will grab their hands and shake the white out of it. We're not going to do that. We're going to do it with the shell. Good there we job. go. Ooh. And Pressure we'll on. Grab it like that and carefully separate it nice and neatly. And I'll do it over the top of you like this. Imagine that. Yeah, I know. We are risk takers, aren't we? I'll get egg white all over your fingers if you're not careful. Now, it is really important when you are whisking up egg whites that you make sure that the bowl that you're using is nice and clean, no oil in it, because that will stop it from, uh, from aerating and becoming nice and fluffy. I think uh, this is why I don't bake too much, because it is quite meticulous and it's not always my style of cooking. So I do like it when I learn these kind of tricks to know how to make baking easier, because it's hard. And we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Hey. The analog method. I've got a whisk and you've got a whisk. You've got the yolks there. And to those yolks, I'll add some caster sugar and you'll mix it around nice and carefully. A little trick with the sugar and yolks, you don't put the sugar and yolks together until you're ready to mix it around. If you just put the sugar on it and went away for 10 minutes or so, the sugar would burn the yolks and that's not what you want. Okay. Now, Rosie, you'll whisk that around and around till it starts to change colour and become nice and fluffy. And while you do that, I'm going to whisk these egg whites. And what that does, introduces air and makes them nice and light and white and fluffy, just like me. Yeah, that's it. Here we go. <laughs> The old analogue method. Now, yeah. give it a tap like that and then we're ready to go. I'm going to put the whites there and get them out of the way. And this one here, you keep hold of that whisk, Rosie, because oh. we're going to get everything else into it. Now, I'm using self-raising flour. This is beautiful self-raising flour. And to make it even more fluffy, I just sift it through this strainer here. So I'll put a cup of self-raising flour in there. That's what'll make it nice and fluffy and You're light. aerating it. Exactly. Yep. And sometimes in the packet, it might have a little lump or so. By just tapping it on a little strainer like this, we make sure that it becomes nice and airy. So Fold mix this. that through. Yeah, yep. mix that through. While you're doing that, I've also got some butter that's melted. That'll make it even more Ooh. luscious. And make sure you get it all off the sides you there as well, it. Rosie. And I've got some vanilla paste here. In that goes. You're loving mixing it around, aren't you? I love it. Now, Rosie, I'm going to steal that off you and take, uh, take that whisk out of it. There yeah. we go. Give it a bit of a tap. And I'm going to use a rubber spatula to fold everything together. And the rubber spatula is great for wiping down the sides and just mix it all through. Now, the egg whites is what gives it its lift, as well as the self-raising flour. So I've got that over there. The trick to adding egg whites is add a little bit of the egg whites to start with, about a third and fold that through. What that does is it loosens up this batter here so when you add the rest of the egg whites, it folds in nice and gently. If you take your time with simple recipes like this one and get it right, then you start to achieve success. And once you've got a few great baking dishes under your belt, you'll be baking every single week. Success it's a wonderful... feels good, doesn't it? Exactly. It's a wonderful thing to do. Now, fold that last bit of egg white through there. And it's a matter of making sure all of that egg white gets mixed into the mixture without knocking the air out of it. Turn it round like this and round like that. And I reckon we've got it mixed in beautifully. We do need to have a little taste of it. Mm. I'll trust you on that one. Oh, delicious. I'm trust waiting me. for the main event. Exactly. And I'll grab the bowl like this and pour it straight out onto a lined tray. Make sure you've got that baking paper on there. And I just very carefully with the spatula, turn it around so I get it into all of the corners. So you think it's not going to rise, but that self-raising flour and the egg white will make it rise beautifully. Make sure you keep some on the spatula. If there is any left. Mm. That is good. Oven. 180 degrees Celsius. It'll take about 12 minutes. It'll be nice and golden on top and it'll be ready for the next stage. In we go. Rosie, it's out of the oven and I've let it cool down for just a few minutes. A little bit of icing sugar on the top there and I'll show you why I do that. Spread it around, pop that there like that. And then a good sheet of baking paper. Rip that off there. And then you might want to close your eyes for a second, Rosie. That's it. Flop it over like that. Out it comes. Good work. And Rosie, that's why you use baking paper. Just 
peel that off nice and carefully. Don't think you're going to have that job. That is the most satisfying job in the world. Don't you tear my cake, will I you? I won't tear your cake. <laughs> Don't worry about that. It comes off nice and easy, doesn't it? Oh, look at that. Lovely. Right. Then a little bit more icing sugar. Just sprinkle it on like that. Make sure it's well and truly covered. And if you thought peeling off the baking paper was fun, this is so much more fun. You grab the end of it here. We want to train the sponge to go into a rolled state. And by turning it around like this, while it's still warm, it'll actually hold it in place. Training and it. Exactly. Like a puppy. Exactly. Puppy, a puppy school. So you grab it around like this and then twist the end of it like this, turn it around, twist the other end like a big bonbon, and then you just need to pop it there to rest, and there you go. Now, Rosie, I've got these strawberries, and they are perfect. We strive for perfection, don't we? We do. I just need to get that lid. Oh, there we go. The lid's on nice and tight. <laughs> What I want you to do is take the yep. top off them and just cut them into quarters and throw them into this bowl here. You've got it. Whilst you're doing that, and at the same time, I've got these gorgeous raspberries. They Nothing are. better than fresh raspberries and strawberries. And why not put some blueberries in there as well? I think we'll just throw them oh, straight into really the bowl. Oh, they really are delicious. And while you're doing that, I'll grab this lemon here and slice it in half and squeeze a bit of lemon on that fruit there just to give it some sharpness. Love it. And then once you've got a few of those strawberries in there, I've got that sugar over there, grab that sugar, fold it through so it macerates. While you're doing that, I've got strawberry jam. It's like a strawberry bonanza, isn't it? It really is. Now, do you want all this sugar? Oh, go on. Oh. Go on. Put it all in. Fine. And I'll, I'll put some brandy in there as well to make it even more delicious. Ooh. You stir that around and I'll stir this jam around with the brandy. Gives it a great flavour and also helps it to spread nice and evenly. It's highly recommended that you put plenty of brandy in there because that's what this is about. Now, let me move that out of the way. We're going to unfold this Swiss roll now and just carefully pop it down like that. Oh, it trained well, didn't it? It's sitting beautifully. Yeah. Now, we're going to make it really delicious by grabbing this jam and pouring that over the top there. And the brandy infuses in with the sponge and the Delightful. vanilla. Delightful. And all that icing, spread it round with the back of a spoon so it goes together. Lovely. Look at that. This is a very typically British thing, so this is fit for the Queen, I think, this one. Oh, by the time we finish this, that's if she gets close to it, because I reckon we're going to eat the whole thing, there'll be nothing left I don't left know, I think she loves a bit of brandy, so... Oh, I hope so. <laughs> and I've got some cream goes on here. I'm using some double cream. Look how thick it is. I know. It's, I'm having trouble spreading it out like if this. If you're going to do it, do it well. That's the thing, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. And I'll spread this out nice and evenly. And now it makes it really, really easy to just turn that around and then you just roll it straight off there. A little bit of the outer layer has stuck to the uh, baking paper. Don't worry about that worry because about that. we know how to fix that. And we just shake it all over the top there. How does that look? Oh, that looks divine. Well, it's not finished yet, oh. Rosie. I'll yep. just turn it on its side here like that. Bit of cream, bit of mess, bit of everything all over it. But that doesn't matter because that's what dessert is all about. Absolutely. I'll slice this in half mm. so you can see how gorgeous and delicious that is. A couple more slices there. We'll make a nice fancy dessert all the way through there. Grab that like that, pop it on top of there, and I'll get another slice. That is so lovely. Of course, you could put this in the fridge if you wanted to let the cream set a little bit as well, but that is so nice. I normally would put it in the fridge, but we're not going to do that. I'll just time for that. grab some berries and we'll pop some of these berries over the top and around. Is that looking good? It looks really good and I love it. You always drag it out when you know I want to try something. A little bit more cream on it as well because it is dessert and is about being luscious and delicious and tasty. Want a little just stalk of it? Grab a few pieces of that lemon barb there. That looks good. Gorgeous. And I know you want to get into really it, Rosie. Nice. So of course I'm gonna... I do. No more torture, no more mucking around. I want you to get in there. I want you to taste that sponge and the cream. OK, I'm getting in. <laughs> getting stuck in there. Strawberry there. Mm. That mm. is so fluffy. You can leave it as a big roll as a cake or you can cut it up and make a dessert out of it. It's great both ways. One of my childhood favourites, so thank you very much. I loved it. An absolute pleasure.